welcome Karim Tomak. Hello, I am here to talk to you about a journey. It's a, it's a life journey. Uh, it is now landing me in Europe, in Germany, and uh, driving a transformation uh, for, for a bank. Um, interestingly, I started at Yahoo uh, before uh, Hadoop was open sourced, and so here we are. On the, um, the transformation of the, the bank, uh, we are basically um, focusing on the uh, simplification of of the bank. And so what do we mean by, what do we mean by that? It is a uh, focus, dire focus, sharp focus on core competencies of the bank. And for those of you who have not heard of Commerce Bank, it is uh, the biggest export financing bank in Germany for Mittelstand. And Mittelstand, I learned when I landed in Germany, is the uh, major export manufacturing uh, force of, of the German economy. And so it's a, it's a pretty decent sized bank, has been around for 100 plus years, and uh, has been in a driving seat for a long, long time. And they started in 2016 talking about, OK, we need to be actually focusing on, on our digital capabilities. We need to be digital. Okay? And um, obviously, being a German bank, they also focused on driving efficiency. They, we believe at the end of the day that uh, this combination will drive higher profitability and uh, competitive agility in the marketplace. The path is obviously not easy. It is a big bank. It is 40,000 plus. It's global. It is driving uh, the different products, financial products in the marketplace. It is also um, operating in different verticals and different sectors. And so transform transforming this entity, this enterprise, is a major challenge. Internally, there are lots of processes, 7,000 plus, that needs to be simplified. There are 2,500 plus data sources that needs to be connected. And cloud is a new enterprise, new option and opportunity for them. And so in this path, we are focusing on end-to-end -end automation and, uh, and speed to marketplace. So cloud, especially hybrid cloud, and I'll talk to you about it uh, with, with, with several use cases we have already deployed, um, is the central driver of this transformation. And as in other, any other technology, we believe we have to start with the customer. We serve the customer where the customer is. Because the customer does not care where the brand is. They want the brand to serve what they need, what they want, wherever they are. And if you start with this perspective and walk back, you realize the processes need to be scalable. They need to be seamless. They need to be agile. And we need to meet the customer where the customer is, not vice versa. And for a bank with 1,200 plus branches, you can imagine how big a challenge that is. Time to market is also important. We are bringing new products to the marketplace, new financial products to the marketplace. And we need to be there when the customer needs that product, especially a business, a manufacturing business, a farmer, and name it. There are different businesses that rely upon Commerce Bank's financial might and, and agility and support to be able to do their own businesses in time. Scalability is important. Collaboration is important. Obviously, efficiency is extremely important for us as, as the bank. So one of the uh, components of this transformation is big data advanced analytics function that I have built. In the last year and a half, uh, we are 100 plus uh, in, this, in this entity, in this, in this function. The capabilities of this function, and this is obviously uh, including the data scientists, but not all data scientists. So there's always this 
notion, oh, you have 100 people off them are data scientists with PhDs, not so much. Uh, we have about 10 or so data scientists with PhDs, yes. But the rest of them are, are business drivers. They are consultants. They come from the business. Uh, they are coming from outside the bank with digital backgrounds and consulting backgrounds. Because I strongly believe that this organization needs to translate analytics, machine learning, AI into the language of the business to be successful. That's the connective tissue. So having said that, we have three different operations. Internal to the bank and open to the rest of the bank is the Commerzbank Data Lake, uh, which provides self-service analytics and access to data on a need-to-know basis and uh, with the right access rights. And this is extremely important for a regulated bank and a regulated uh, enterprise, as I got to learn. You have to make sure that that actually is supported. The second component or second part of this lake is the lab. The lab is computer dedicated to my team on operated by the team and nobody else, but this is the driving platform for technology innovation and deployment and prototyping of new tools and technologies and solutions using different tools like H2O, TensorFlow, as you know, Python, and so on. And the final piece is the hybrid cloud. We strongly believe hybrid cloud is enabling our scalability of this operation. Because without this connectivity, I would keep on investing millions and millions into this central functions, central uh, uh, locations uh, with, with the hardware and the software and the support that it needs. But that cannot continue forever. So we believe scalability is enabled by hybrid cloud and multi-cloud. So I will call this a POC. It's a, it's a uh, journey in progress. Uh, transformation is ongoing. Uh, our uh, experiment, if you will, is ongoing in supporting the transformation of the bank. We have deployed multiple use cases, and there are multiple products in production. I will talk about a couple. Uh, but you can see our functions supports the bank, all functions of the bank, all divisions of the bank, not just a specific area of the bank. So we are a horizontal enabler uh, for the bank, if you will. So one of the products that is on a hybrid environment on, and one cloud provider uh, is uh, what we call the pay-per-use product, pay-per-use loan uh, product. On the left-hand side, you can see this product can apply to mobile machines, mobile machinery. On the right-hand side, you can see this is applicable also to stationary machines. But basically, the idea is pretty simple. It is providing a platform for Commerzbank, outside Commerzbank, that integrates into any other IoT platform. You will say, OK, so what's new? Well, there are lots of IoT platforms in Germany that have focused on providing connectivity for the machinery and for manufacturing processes, which is, which is great. That's why, how it needs to be. And IoT is a booming area in Germany, obviously, for manufacturing businesses. But they eventually come to a point where they say, we need a trusted partner to provide liquidity in these platforms. Right? And it kind of stands to reason, hey, if you buy machinery with a loan, then you want the bank to support you whenever you need further loan or further financing or a way to slow down paying back the loan. Because let's say the yield is not going to be as much as you thought it would be. Or you think, hey, the machines that I have is depreciating faster than I thought. And so I need more machinery in the, in the floor. And therefore, it's going to slow down your output. So to cope with these, we are where our business clients are, understanding their needs, understanding their uh, backlog, understanding their uh, main pain points, and supporting them uh, via the platforms near real time, if not real time. This is all enabled by cloud. The second cloud application we have, hybrid cloud application we have, is with another cloud provider. This time, it focuses on creating thousands of time series forecasting solutions deployed on this environment to provide liquidity forecasts 
at an account level. You may say, OK, so what? Well, there are lots of things that may be enabled by this, beyond just services that we provide to understand your liquidity uh, flow in the future, near future. We can think about using this as a potential cross-sell upsell for the bank. We can use this as a potential early warning for any default possibility of an account. So we can remind the account owner that, hey, they need to bring the account back to the healthy position that, that they would want it to be. And 85%, believe me or not, 85% of these accounts come back to a healthy current status after we, we actually, almost real time, um, announce that they need to take a t pay attention to the account. So that's a lot of time saved, a lot of costs saved uh, for obviously risk credit officers as well as our uh, business clients. So this is all enabled by hybrid cloud. It is basically the driver of digital transformation. But we have to not forget the fact that at the horizontal bottom layer of all of this remains the data. Okay, uh, we talk about machine learning, we talk about AI, but uh, you, you are probably in the same uh, place as I am, where if your data is not of high quality, your AI will be as dumb as a rock. Okay, so you have to make sure you, have, you take care of your data quality and you have to take care of uh, dissemination of this data in a controlled fashion. So for that purpose, at the data layer, we built what we call a data playbook. So the data playbook clearly outlines for the bank, and this is a continuous also education and, and uh, um, uh, lecturing, if you will, of the, of the bank. Uh, it describes how the data is stored, how the data is secured, encrypted, and how solutions are actually being built with this data. And the second part of this data, we, uh, data playbook, we describe how the GDPR and other uh, uh, regulations apply and how we actually make it fully functional in a hybrid cloud environment, not on-prem. On-prem is relatively easy. Okay? Try to get a regulated company to understand that it is OK and secure to use a hybrid cloud. If you encrypt your, your uh, data transmission, if you put the right checks and gateways in place, abide by need to know principle and all the access rights, it is OK to use hybrid cloud. Okay? It is still an ongoing educational process, but without the data playbook, you are limited. And you can go through hours and hours of meetings to describe what you're trying to do. The second piece is to establish a privacy council within the bank that overlooks deployment of use cases on hybrid cloud, cloud and back. And so uh, obviously, you don't want to slow down this process, but you have to have a central organization that drives the adoption and acceptability of, of and deployment of use cases on the cloud. And on the flip side, we have uh, tools that we are using and deploying on the data lake as well as the lab before the data hits those uh, environments that we create data quality gateways and check, checks and balances before uh, we get the data available to the rest of the bank. So long story short, we focus on simplification, digitalization, and efficiency of a German bank for the last three years. We are on a long journey. Uh, we are in the middle of this journey. But big data, advanced analytics, and AI is actually helping this journey along the way by creating democracy, demo, data democracy for, for different parts of the bank, self-service analytics for different parts of the bank, and makes insights much more available and much more usable and, and with, a, with a focus on faster time to market uh, for, for different parts of the bank within different 
uh, uh, divisions and different verticals. So we believe this is going to create a digital bank of the future. Thank you.